Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition of Seesaw Tech Talks. Joining me live at the Outlook Convention here in beautiful Terranea in California is Jason Kubasek. He's the CEO of Mako Networks. Jason, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much for having me. It's just, you can't beat this view we've got. Oh, it's incredible. This venue is really remarkable. I have never been here. uh, I'll definitely be back. Good, me too. So can you tell me a little bit about how Mako Networks has evolved to specifically address the unique network security challenges that face today's convenience store operators? Sure. Mako started with the the technology. So it's a technology company at its core. So the underlying networking technology that was developed back in the early 2000s, which was um, very far ahead of its time at that time, um, really lends itself well toward distributed enterprise. It's very easy to manage at scale. Uh, it's highly secure. It's very templated. So it really works well for distributed enterprise environments. A very big customer early on was Chevron, which got uh, us kind of into this space and focused on it. And so as that then evolved to EP and Marathon, other uh, other companies in the space, we kind of entered into a feedback loop of challenges, opportunities, et cetera, that were particular to this industry. And so we continue to evolve based on that feedback loop, a more and more targeted offering. So while the underlying technology works well in a variety of industries, a lot of the nuances are really designed around this industry because it's one we have so much experience in and so many of our customers are uh, in this space. You went and answered my second question already, but (laughs) since we're at a big (laughs) convenience store conference right now, what do you love about this industry? What, how, how have you worked so closely with convenience store operators to develop solutions? We love the industry uh, um, because it's constantly evolving. It's uh, innovating. They're doing a lot more uh, than I think a lot of people realize when you think many people anyway of um, retail petroleum and convenience just sense that it might be a relatively simple environment and then the more you learn about it the more you realize it's not at all a simple environment it's very complicated networking challenges all over the place you've got surveillance you've got door controllers you've got automated chank ages you have so many different things from a networking perspective that um, create lots of different challenges and of course challenges create opportunities so it's exciting to be you know in an environment where the technology that we've developed can really be leveraged to the advantage of the customer. And so that's what makes this vertical very exciting for us is it's just one where we can really shine. We can do well with the technology we have, with the experience we have, and add a lot of value for customers. As you know, convenience stores process thousands and thousands and thousands of payment transactions daily. Um, How does your PCI's certified network solution simplify that? Well, we do have a unique aspect of our technology, which is that it is certified at the level of the of the actual technology rather than the overlay of services on top of it that makes it a PCI compliant environment. We've actually gone through the process to make the technology itself compliant with the PCI DSS standard. So everything from the way that we uh, manage data to how the products are developed to how we uh, manage the development process and cycle to how we handle Uh, sensitive customer information, pretty much everything about both the product and the way we deliver it is built around that standard. So because of that, it allows us to limit the scope for the retailer significantly and also for the delivery. Mm -hmm. It's much more streamlined, which means it helps us to maintain, you know, faster resolution for problems, et cetera, that that we might otherwise have because PCI DSS is complicated. It's a it's a very rigorous standard. And so to meet it, having the technology itself meet the standard inherently simplifies everything for everyone. For us as the MNSP and for the uh, retailer, of course, as the customer. We've been talking a lot at this conference about technology and just simply how, you know, maybe a couple of years ago we would have never talked about all of these loyalty programs, digital offerings, AI, like all of the sophisticated technology that's just, it's growing at a, a pace that is hard to comprehend. How does your technology support this evolution 
while still maintaining security? Well, I think, of course, it starts from a stable base. So um, all of the technologies that we're hearing about here at this uh, conference, as well as others, ultimately rely on stable, secure internet connectivity of some sort. Um, so we have inherent uh, stability in our platform. We have seamless failover to multiple broadband uh, solutions, whether that's cellular or multiple terrestrial broadband or even satellite. So we can connect through any available broadband and create a very reliable network. And I think that's important, but also our technology is built around the, the concept of, of creating an ecosystem. So we have created a pretty robust ecosystem of partners, uh, everything from payment processors to point of sale vendors to refrigeration monitoring, you name it, we've got connections into it that are stable, reliable, secure, uh, scalable, and also extremely easy to set up. So as all these different technologies evolve, as we enter, as we bring them into that ecosystem, we just make it easier for the customer to address the parts of the challenge that are interesting to them, that are revenue generating or customer facing, while not having to worry so much about whether or not the underlying ability to deliver that is being taken care of. Okay. It's probably not surprising to you to hear that everybody's curious to know about, like, what's the next big thing that's out there that I have to watch out for? What What is this next big network security thread that I might face in 2026? What, how are you, what could that be? And how are you addressing that? Well, obviously AI is, is fantastic uh, in terms of what the potential is for adding value, yeah. but it's also a big threat in terms of um, creating more sophisticated threat actors, more attack vectors. I think as you see more uh, connected retail, you obviously see a lot more potential for threats. And as people are new, doing more and more with data, uh, analyzing it, using it for different purposes, whether it's surveillance camera video, whether it's uh, customer data, all of those things create uh, new challenges to protect that information while also making it available to the people that need it. So you need to make sure that the network is still providing the value that it's there to provide, but not creating opportunities for More big problems. Yeah. <laughs> so big problems. Yeah, yeah, big problems. So AI on both sides, you know, of course, we'll, some of the things we're doing with AI have to do with trying to make sure that we're staying ahead of the, the evolving threats. And um, I think that's, kind of an AI versus AI model that's that's coming and is becoming more and more um, prevalent. But I think it's really the the number of, of ways that the information that's traveling over networks needs to be utilized now for it to provide the value to the customer that they want while still making sure that it's protected when it's static, when it's in transit, you know, wow. all the different states. So a lot of interesting challenges for yeah. us coming up. A lot of opportunities. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to close out this conversation. You've been so generous with your time. I want to hear about a recent success story, if you have any at the top of your mind, where you helped an operator or a chain um, overcome a significant networking challenge. Sure. There's so many, it's hard to choose. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> but uh, uh, a great example is a, uh, a company called Golden Oil. Okay. And Oil is uh, based in Wisconsin. They uh, have a geographically dispersed footprint and a lot of on-site visits were required to do things relative to their, their pause systems and so okay. forth. And they rolled out our Periscope product, which allows you to have secure uh, PCI compliant access to web interfaces within your, uh, even your cardholder data environment. And they were able to realize a 50% savings in their IT support costs oh uh, year over year um, by utilizing Periscope. So it's really exciting to us because Periscope's a relatively new product for us. And so to see you know, nearby uh, a, a customer having that type of success and for a company their size, it was an extremely meaningful delta in cost to support those locations. Uh, essentially, they cut down the number of trips by over 80%. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, um, the time to resolution by a similar uh, delta. So it was a huge win for them and, of course, a huge win for us and one we're really proud of. 
All right. Well, on that note, Jason, thank you so very much for joining us for C-Store Tech Tots and joining us at beautiful Terranea here at the Outlook Conference. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. 